Our goal is to find the area between two curves. Suppose you have a function y equals to f of x and the area bounded between f of x and the positive part of x-axis between a and b is located here. Now assume you have another function like g of x. The area bounded between g of x and positive part of x-axis between a to b is located here. Now the question is, how do you find the area bounded between these two functions? On top, the function is f of x, and down here you have function g of x. So you're basically going to subtract the smaller area from the larger area. So the area of s is the definite integral of function f minus the definite integral of function g. So you're taking this larger area, you're calculating this smaller area, do the subtraction to find the area bounded between these two functions. Let's take a look at this example. Here question says, find the area of region enclosed by the parabola y equals to 2 minus x squared and the line y equals to minus x. You can visualize this as well. Let us take a look at visualization using Desmos. So first of all, let us graph 2 minus x squared, which is upside down parabola. And then you have line, decreasing line, y equals to minus x, which is this line here. You want to know what is the area bounded between these two functions. More closely, on top, you have the upside down parabola, 2 minus x squared, and down here, you have the line y equals to minus x. What is the area bounded between these two functions? As we learned, we're going to find the intersecting points between these two functions, because we need to find the lower bound and upper bound for our definite integral. So set f and g equal to each other. f is 2 minus x squared, the top function. Set it equal to the lower function, which is y equals to minus x. Now we're going to do a little bit of algebra. You can rewrite this as x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. So you can basically take negative x squared, bring it to the right-hand side, 2 to the right-hand side, which becomes negative 2, and you have a quadratic equation to solve. You can easily write this in factor form. You get x plus 1 times x minus 2 and set it equal to 0. Solving this equation gives us two solutions. x is negative 1 and x is 2. When you set x plus 1 equal to 0, you get x equals to negative 1. And when you set x minus 2 equal to 0, you get x equals to 2. So, so far, we found these two points of intersection between these two graphs. So it helps us to calculate the area bounded between these two curves. In finding the area bounded between a parabola and a line, we just saw that the intersecting points are x equals to negative 1 and x is equal to 2. Let us continue. We know that a is equal to the definite integral a to b of the top function f of x, which is the definite integral of negative 1 to 2 of the top function, which is 2 minus x squared, Again, the top function, as you see, is 2 minus x squared minus the lower function, g of x, which in this case is minus x. So your lower bound function is negative x, and then you take the integral with respect to x. Let us simplify this a little bit. This is the definite integral, negative 1 to 2, of 2 plus x minus x squared 
dx. Well, how do we calculate this integral? Remember that if you have the integral of u to power n du, this is u to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. And when you have a definite integral, you just need to plug in b, then plug in a, and then do the subtraction. The integral of 2 dx is 2x. The integral of x is x squared divided by 2. And the integral of x squared is x cubed divided by 3. But since you have subtraction, you're going to add subtraction as well. And the integral bounded between negative 1 and 2. Now, let us plug in 2. Get 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 2 squared divided by 2 which is 4 divided by 2, minus 2 to the third divided by 3, which is 8 divided by 3. Now, let us plug in negative 1, the lower bound, and do the subtraction. You have negative 2 plus negative 1 squared divided by 2, which gives you a half, minus negative 1 to the third divided by 3, which is negative 1 over 3, negative times negative gives you positive. So you have a third. And then if you do the algebra, the final answer is going to be 9 over 2. So the area bounded between these two functions is 9 over 2. Please note that we need to know what is the lower bound, what is the upper bound. In that case, we just set these two functions equal to each other. And we did the algebra to find x equals to negative 1 and x equals to 2 to have the lower bound and upper bound of the integral. Remember that to calculate this polynomial, the integral of this polynomial, you're using basically the integral of u to the n du, which is u to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. You plug in the upper bound. Then you plug in the lower bound and then do the subtraction. So you're basically calculating the area for the top function. You're calculating the area for the lower function. And then you subtract these two to find the area bounded between these two functions.